Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta and since you know my guest today so well, let me first tell you about this remarkable setting. This is Swaraj Bhavan, part of the larger Anand Bhavan complex in Allahabad, the home of the Nehru Gandhi family. And my guest today, some, somebody who carries that formidable dynasty on her slender shoulders, if I can put it like that. Mrs. Gandhi, welcome to Walk the Talk. I'm so Thank grateful you. to you to Thank find you. so much time. Welcome to Swaraj Bhavan. And to find so much time and a very busy election season yes, is beginning. Yes, yes, uh, very busy. It's already began for me. In fact, I've been touring uh, Uttar Pradesh, Urisa, and other states. Only yesterday I was in Banaras, Badhoi, Mezapur. So, and it's going to carry on like this till the end. Life's changed a great deal. So let me, let me first go back to where it began. When did, when did you first come to this place, to Anand Bhavan? I came uh, to Anand Bhavan in 1970, and that was when uh, Indira Ji gave, uh, dedicated Anand Bhavan and Swaraj Bhavan to the nation in terms that it then uh, it became a museum and it was open to the public. Uh, that was the 1970s, so I had been married for two years. I was the mother of a young baby, child, Rahul, and uh, it left a great impression on me because, um, of course, my mother-in-law, while, while she was winding up and deciding what things to leave here or to take, there were still some personal items here. She, she was describing to me and one or two friends who accompanied us uh, what, what all happened in, this, uh, in both these houses. And so, so from whom did you first hear about freedom movement and the politics of those years? From That's Rajiv or from your mother-in-law? Certainly from my mother-in-law, from my mother-in-law. Um, in fact, I think, uh, we had, uh, we had a certain, uh, not custom, I would say, like in, uh, um, for instance, whenever she was free or if we were away, uh, perhaps uh, seldom though for holidays with her, uh, she would always recount and tell us about her childhood, her uh, youth, and which, of course, was part and parcel of the freedom struggle. But you, did, you never imagined at that point that either you, in fact, either your husband or you would ever get caught up in this? Never, never. I never imagined, never imagined that. I had just come here, uh, of course, uh, for marrying Rajiv, right. Rajivji. And uh, that uh, never, never crossed my mind or my husband's mind for that matter. But you never thought when you got married to Rajiv that you were marrying into a political family. So no, politics was no. going to be part I, of your I life. Came, uh, when I came to this family and married, I was a complete anari, anari. On, <laughs> on, what, on what was going to come. You know, right. on what was going anari to happen. Anari means a novice, but this is not really an apt translation, it says. You can't translate it absolutely correctly. Gotcha. Well, you know what but, I mean. Yes. Yes. So carry on. Well, uh, then here, uh, this, this house actually, it was from uh, in 90, they moved into this house precisely about 104 years ago. Tubar.com. 